So in the 24 Shots app, before we do anything, we need to go ahead and select a lens. So in this video, we're going to show you how to set up a new lens. First, you want to select Choose Lens. And here you're going to select New Lens. The first thing you're going to do is move your lens to the clockwise most location. And then you're going to select Done. Now you're going to do the same, but counterclockwise most location. And then select Done. Next we want to add a calibration mark. This is important for the silencer error, this way it's calibrated every time you put the same lens back on. So now you want to choose any location on the lens. So we're going to move the lens to 12 and we're going to use that as our calibration mark. And press Done. Next we have the option of adding measurement marks. Here you can actually add in increments that are on the lens, which will come in handy in the set marks mode. If you want to add marks, you'd select yes. If not, you can select no and go right to the setup. We're going to select yes. And in here is where you set up your measurement marks. We're going to select add measurement mark. So you're going to use the trigger to move the lens to the next location. We're going to select seven and then select done. Now we want to name that measurement mark. So we're going to put in seven and then select Save. Now you can see on the graphical area we've got our calibration mark which is 12 and 7 which is the mark we just added. Last we want to save the lens file, name it and click Save. So here you'll see the current lens file is the Canon 85mm CineLens. So let's pretend we just added this lens to the camera. Since we already have this lens saved, let me show you how to recall that saved lens. Select Choose Lens, Load Lens File, and there's our Canon 85mm Cine Lens. Now it's going to ask you to recalibrate, and you see that it says align it with 12, and that was the calibration mark we made when we set this lens file up. So you want to rotate the lens with the trigger to the 12. Now that the lens is at 12, we'll select Done. So now we're ready to go. We can launch into the four modes, but I just want to show you what's in the settings screen. If you click the gear button, from this screen you can rename your system, recalibrate a lens, or go to calibration point. So now if we move the lens to a different position, and then we click go to cal, it'll move exactly to our 12 point. Now what's really important about this is you can use that if you're going to shut the system down, and you know you're going to set it up or you're going to start it up with the exact same setup. And it's really simple. Now you can just load your lens file and you're already at your calibration point. And for any reason, you might be out of calibration. You can click on the recalibrate. Then you want to use the trigger to go to that calibration point. Then select done. And your lens is recalibrated. Thanks for watching and for more information, head over to 24shots.com.